All right, now at the end of this video, uh, we will learn how to differentiate this in a very quick manner. Okay, hopefully you can learn um, some new tricks to do things a little bit faster. So let me show you what um, you are expected to learn at the end of this video first. Okay, so uh, differentiating this, okay, uh, it may seem like a little bit different from what we discussed earlier on, but all of us know that the trick is to change it all to index form um, and, and, and then we can do everything as per what we have discussed early on. But what I want you to be able to do at the end of this video is to differentiate this in one step. So you can do this in a very quick manner and you get this answer of um, negative 1 over x squared plus 4 over x cubed and minus 9 over x4. Aha! So this is the scale that I want you to be able to learn. Okay, so let us discuss first of all how do we really differentiate this at the first place. Okay, so uh, let, let me show you okay, what you need to do or what you at least the basic that you need to know. Okay, so um, first of all, all right, the original method that the, which most school teachers will teach you. Okay, and that will be basically the most basic way and that is to change this um, all these fractions into index form and that means uh, 1 over x becomes x to the power of negative 1 and uh, this becomes 2x to the power of negative 2 and this becomes 3x to the power of negative 3 and of course uh, to differentiate okay uh, well we can actually let y equals to this expression so they will make our presentation a lot easier so we can simply write dy dx here so the dy dx will then be of course we bring down the negative one that gives us our negative x to the power of negative two okay and this will then become positive four x to the power of negative three and this will become negative nine uh, x to the power of negative four and of course uh, changing it back to the fraction form we will end up with negative one over x squared Okay, my, uh, plus 4 over x cubed and minus 9 over x power 4, which is, hey, the same answer that we got here, isn't it? So what exactly is going on and how do I do it so quickly is um, what I'm going to teach you next. Okay, but of course, first of all, you need to know this. This is the very, very basic that you must know. All right, and then we talk about the shortcut. Okay, so what exactly, how do I exactly do this in such a quick manner without doing this? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. All right, um, I need you to check and see. All right, and when you uh, see if you can spot any pattern, now if you differentiate one of x, you get negative one over x square. Okay, the explanation we can actually follow through from here. Okay, it's not that hard to imagine. Okay, and uh, as well, let's move on to 1 over x square all right and you notice that the answer actually becomes negative of 1 uh, sorry 2 over x cubed mm -hmm. and uh, if we move on okay let's see if you can spot any pattern here and you get 1 over x cubed all right we will get the answer of negative 3 over x4 okay so there is obviously uh, some form of some kind of a pattern here that you can actually uh, deduce and therefore you can actually guess that um, if I were to differentiate 1 over x to the power of 4 you end up with a negative 4 over x to the power of 5 okay but uh, I'm, I'm quite sure that some of you may be um, guessing like um, why or rather what is going on or uh, you know how, how, how exactly does this work All right how come uh, instead of reducing power you realize that x power 1 becomes x power 2 x power 2 becomes x power 3 okay so instead of power being reduced by 1 the power is actually increased okay and next thing that you should notice is that uh, every time you differentiate it becomes negative okay so it becomes negative so what exactly is going on here well actually the the explanation here is quite easy because if you we actually went through something similar here but let's talk about this second second one okay now 1 over x square right is actually the same as x to the power negative 2 okay so when we differentiate this 
Okay, bear in mind that when we differentiate this, we will have to bring down the power to multiply by the constant here. Okay, and that is why we ended up with a negative sign. Okay, because of the negative 2. And in fact, if you think a little bit harder, this is how we get the negative 2. Okay, and now how do we get the x cubed? Well, because after we differentiate, we need to reduce the power by 1, isn't it? So after we differentiate, okay, it becomes negative 2 x to the power negative 3. So this x to the power negative 3, all right, because the power is negative, it is belongs to the denominator, and this that's how we end up with this. Okay, so essentially what we are doing here is the same as what we have discussed over here, exactly the same. All right, the only difference is that we are doing all these steps in our mind without writing them down. Okay, and you may think that it is actually very difficult. Uh, well, with practice, um, trust me, it can be done. Okay, many, many students can actually do this very confidently so that whenever you see a more complicated question, you can actually do this in one step. Okay, so it's not that difficult, but I just need you to try. Okay, so well, I, I, I don't know whether you're really trying over there, but um, let's put in some effort to try. Okay, and let's discuss uh, what will we get if I have something like this. Okay, how do we differentiate 2 over x squared? Now, what I want you to think of now in your mind now you should be registering this as 2x to the power negative 2 so you see this in your mind and therefore you know that when you were to differentiate this you have to bring down the power of negative 2 okay and therefore it will surely become a negative 4 somewhere all right there's bound to be a negative 4 and this original x to the power of negative 2 will reduce its power further by 1 and you know that you end up with a negative 3 now but I don't want you to write this out as your answer no 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 okay instead think about it this way and you write your answer as 4 over x cubed okay so think of it this way uh, that, that you know that there are many ways you can think about this actually so you can think of it as though you know you have these two bring up to multiply by the 4 and that's how you get a 4 but it becomes a negative and uh, x cubed or no, x squared becomes x cubed okay so so with practice it can be done all right and you also notice one more thing okay let me show you now mm, sorry the wrong color let me use back on um, blue color okay so let me try another one so it's now negative 5 over x4 okay so so in your mind now in your mind now you should be thinking of this all right it looks like this it is exactly the same and therefore when you were to differentiate this you know that you end up with positive agree right because you actually have negative 4 multiplied by negative 5 so that gives you positive 20 so there's going to be a 20 positive and you know that the x power will become negative 5 and therefore it becomes 20 over x power 5 okay now one more pattern that it could be quite useful for you to notice and that is that every time we differentiate a reciprocal okay which is 1 over x or 1 over x square uh, if it's a positive the answer turns out to be negative okay you see positive it turns out to be negative and when it's a negative it turns out to be positive all right and it's not that hard for you to understand why it's simply because uh, if it is originally negative and you're going to take the negative power down well, obviously it becomes positive and what happens here is that originally it was positive and you bring the negative power down that's how you end up with negative okay so hopefully this trick this shortcut can actually help you um, solve questions a little bit faster than all your friends okay let me just show you how useful this can be all right for example let's say you have a simple or not so simple um, differentiation for you to do okay and and, and 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 most of the time sometimes you may just end up with something like this okay now some students like to make this uh, or rather will make this mistake of um, um, differentiating some parts of the expression first for example they write oh you know what this is so easy right uh, this becomes 6x I'll do this first 
okay and oh this one I, I know I know what my teachers told me I, I need to change it to index form so it becomes x to the power negative 1 and oh this one becomes 2 x to the power negative 3 now you need to be very very certain and sure that this is already wrong okay um, many students didn't realize this okay um, cannot understand why is this already wrong okay because to them this is absolutely fine because you know this is what they have been taught okay what you need to understand is that when you write this this term dy dx okay it means that you already differentiate the the entire expression okay in another words you need to you, you need to differentiate everything already okay in order to arrive at the dy dx answer okay what happens here is that well this 6x is differentiated from okay it's derived from um, the 3x square okay but you need to understand that the 1 over x and this x to the power negative 1 they are actually the same thing it hasn't been differentiated at all okay and this is the reason why this expression is wrong okay so so for, for for some students who they they have to do it this way this may be a very careless part uh, careless type of mistake that um, they will make so hopefully uh, if you are confident enough you can actually space uh, save a bit of time okay when you encounter a question like this because okay for for you if you have master what we discussed earlier on right to differentiate this you know that aha this is 6x no big deal and 1 over x ah, again no big deal 1 over x squared because you are so good at it so this will become positive 6 over x4 okay so here you go all right so uh, before I end this video okay I, I will want you to at least have some ways for you to practice what we discussed earlier on okay so uh, I, I will keep quiet for a while Okay, and I want you to think about some of these examples that I'm going to show you now. Okay, so let's say I have differentiate of 2 to the power of x cubed. Okay, now think about what is this answer. Okay, think about in the, uh, think about it in your head. All right, don't write out anything. Just think about the 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 kind of uh, steps that I, I went through earlier on, or the kind of thinking that I went through earlier on. And what do you end up with? Okay, first of all, you end up with negative. I hope you are thinking of something negative, yeah? And you will have a 6 because of the 3 multiplied by the 6 is actually a negative 3 multiplied by a 2, sorry. Okay, and you, the denominator will become x to the power of 4. Ah, did you get this? I hope so. Alright, let's 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 try again. Okay, if you haven't got this, let's try again. Let's, let's try a bigger number this time, 10, x to the power of 5. Okay, so um, this way. This is a negative, so you know that you end up with a positive, right? Okay, no big deal about it, huh? So you end up with the number 50, yes? Okay, 50 over x to the power of 6. Uh -huh. So I hope you got it this time, all right? Let's try again. Let's, let's really try, try again, okay? Um, now, let's say I have uh, something like this. Mm, a little bit harder okay so but it's not that hard after all let's try to think about it again it's positive if we were to differentiate this you know it becomes negative no big deal about it there'll be a half and multiply by a 2 so this half multiplied by a 2 gives you a 1 right so this way it's a negative 1 so it's 1 negative 1 over x cubed all right so if you can arrive at all these three answers without writing anything down okay just by following um, the way I taught you how you should be thinking about this okay congratulations you already be able to do all this a lot faster than a lot of your friends okay but one note of cautions okay and that is uh, you know this shortcut so-called all right is useful when they're dealing with easy to work with kind of numbers like you know two and three and whole numbers uh, integers values right but in the event okay and, and in the event that you you got a question you you, you have a question like this uh, it won't be very advisable 
okay for you to try this using this shortcut because uh, at the end of the day you'll be spending so much time thinking everything in your head you might as well just write it out okay the write it out in the sense like um, something like what we went through earlier on over here okay step by step change the index form and then we bring down the power and so on and so forth so for more complicated type of powers okay we're all square root or as long as it's fractions okay it, it, it appears more challenging so and therefore much easier for you to make mistakes if you are trying to do everything in your head okay so so not advisable for difficult numbers like this okay but uh, for simple numbers like this well we can actually save a few seconds here and there okay so that's all